On this video, I'm going to show you how I came up with the solution to build a custom baby gate for our wide opening that connects our family room to our kitchen that can easily be rolled in and out of place. Welcome to Projects with Steve. This is the opening from our kitchen to our family room. Our twin baby boys are now 11 months old and baby proofing our house is in full swing. One of the boys has now started crawling, so we are working on ways to contain him and to keep him out of things that he shouldn't be touching. We wanted a baby gate in this opening. The opening is five and a half feet wide and there aren't a lot of options for baby gates available for purchase that fit this width. But more importantly to me, I didn't want to install a fixed baby gate with a door that would always be blocking this opening. I wanted something that we could easily put in place to keep the boys in the family room when we wanted, but also something that could be moved out of the way that would not block these two rooms. My solution was to create a rolling baby gate that could easily roll in and out of this opening. The gate I built is made out of simple one by fours. The length of the gate goes a couple of inches beyond the trim of the opening. My gate was built by laying out four 1x4s with equal spacing between each. I then used wood glue and brad nails to attach three vertical pieces of wood to connect everything together. Two of the vertical pieces are placed on the ends and the third is directly in the middle. I designed my baby gate to be about 23 inches high so that we could easily step over it when it was in place but this design could easily be made taller if stepping over it is not important to you. I created a top ledge to the gate by taking a one x four and ripping it down to one and a half inches wide. This board was then laid on top of the gate and glued and nailed into place to give the top a finished look. I purchased three fixed casters for the gate to roll on. These casters only move back and forth and are not the ones that can spin. These casters are simply screwed into the bottom of the gate. I drilled pilot holes before screwing them in to prevent the wood from splitting. Before I painted the gate, I first did a trial run. I installed it in place to make sure my concept would work. Someone was excited for the new thing that daddy built. To keep the gate upright while in place so that the twins did not push it over, I created these metal U brackets. Home Depot did not have anything what I envisioned, so I ended up taking two metal L brackets and connecting them with a bolt to make a U. These U brackets were then screwed into the wall in three places. One went on each side of the opening, and the third was attached further down the wall to keep the gate upright when it was not in use. I used thick foam weather stripping as a way to create a soft spacer. I used this on the inside of the U brackets to keep the gate from banging against the wall and to keep it upright. It was very important to me that the gate did not damage the doorway casing, the baseboards, or the walls. I drilled a hole through this foam weather stripping and attached it to the wall with a screw. I also took two more of the L brackets and used them to create gate stops on each end so that the gate would not roll further than I wanted it to. I have kitchen cabinets on one end of the doorway, so I didn't want the gate to be able to bump into these cabinets. To keep the babies from being able to open the gate, I created a simple gate lock by drilling a hole through one of the U-brackets and into the top of the gate. I then placed an Allen wrench through the holes as a locking pin. When the gate is open, this Allen wrench simply hangs on the U-bracket. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this idea for a baby gate. If you did, please hit the like button and click on the red subscribe button. This will help you to not miss out whenever I upload a new video on my projects. This also helps me grow my channel because it tells YouTube to recommend the videos more often to other potential viewers. If you click the bell icon, then you will receive a notification whenever a new Projects with Steve video gets published. 
please share this video with anyone that you know that has little kids that may be interested in a baby gate idea like this one. It's a great solution for large doorways and for when you want to be able to quickly and easily remove the gate. If you're concerned about the baby being able to climb over the gate, you could easily make this gate taller, or you could also attach the rails closer together to give them less space to place their feet on the rails. If you have any questions or comments about this gate, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like the farmhouse style, I also have a video showing you how we did our fireplace makeover, creating our own ship lap. This video can be found in my playlist of videos of our 1970s house renovation. I also have a video showing you the before and after pictures of our complete kitchen renovation, including removing a wall. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comments section below. Just hit that subscribe button, hit like. I greatly appreciate it and I will see you on my next project.